Hello and welcome to those endless mysteries. Today we will be going over a dogman sighting. Now this sighting comes out of Washington from multiple dates. The witness states that his first sighting of this creature happened when he was just a young boy. He had just went to bed. Now while laying in bed trying to fall asleep, when he looked out his bedroom window, now his window faced a backyard, saying that this was his first time seeing this creature. He says that him and his brother had always felt nervous looking out this window, that now he knows why they always felt like that, saying that it was hard not to look out of it sometimes, that his bed faced this window, but that this night was different than just a feeling. This night he was seeing a creature looking into this window. It was looking right at him, with it only being about three feet from his window. He says that this creature had large yellow eyes. The next thing the witness noticed was this creature's long snout, while noticing its huge teeth. Its canines were huge to a boy of his age. Even though this creature did have a long snout, it still kind of had a human look to it. It also had black fur covering its body and face. Now as he was laying there very scared, he said that this is when the creature noticed him looking at it. Once this creature realized that the witness had noticed it, the witness says that it snarled at him quietly through the window that if it was making a growling sound, that he couldn't hear it through the window. Then he says that the both of them was just staring at each other. This is when the witness says he started pulling the covers over his head very slowly. He says he laid there crying for what seemed like forever for a young boy. Then he ran to his parents' room, telling them of what he had just seen with his parents telling him that he had just had a bad dream. Now, saying that he believed that for a long time, that it was about another eight years before he would know the truth. Now, he was in his sophomore year at high school when his brother and a friend was with him fishing, saying that there is a creek there that surprisingly has some good, decent fish in it. The creek had a natural bridge across it as well, due to a tree falling across it a few winters back. The witness and his friend had went on down the stream. His brother stayed fishing alone. Now his brother loved peanut butter, the witness says, that this day he had brought a huge scoop of peanut butter on a plate with some Ritz crackers out with him. He had to go to the bathroom, so he crossed the tree to the other side where there is a little better cover. But on his way back, the witness brother saw a large creature running off with his food, which his brother described this creature more as a Bigfoot-type creature, which sounded crazy to the witness at the time. So he said his brother was crazy, while they started calling him Crazy Joey. But that later on, the witness remembered his own run-in with a crazy creature of his own. Now his brother didn't go out there for at least a month. Now when he did go back, his brother went out alone that day and started fishing. Now while he was fishing, his line became all tangled up. So he started to reline his reel that he noticed that a bird had gotten wrapped up in his old line. So he started running back to the house to get a knife. Upon returning to the creek, he noticed that the same type of creature was heading for the bird. Now the witness brother said he yelled at this creature, scaring it off. Then he cut away the line from the bird. This time the creature's description was more to the witness sighting which this time the witness said that he did believe his brother, 
seeing that he has had two other sightings of strange-looking wolf-type creatures over the years. Once again, while he was out fishing with his friends, with the creature seeming to be tracking his friends when he saw it, saying that this one was gray, seeing that he is five six and that the wolf-type creature stood over his waistline on all fours, that it seemed to have a playful look on its face as it was watching his friends. Then the witness says that again him and his creature locked eyes, leading to another stare down, with the only difference being that this creature was on all fours this time. Saying that this creature then took off. Then the witness said that he gave chase. That this creature ran out into an opening. That on the left was a couple of ponds. While on the right was a small prairie. Saying that he thought that this creature had ran towards the prairie. But once he had made it there, this creature was gone. Then the next time he saw this creature was with his brother again. This time this wolf-type creature was solid black, that it seemed to play with them, that he would run from them and then stop and let them close back upon it. Then it would take off again. The witness said that this creature did this about five times with them before it finally took off for the last time saying that the area is bad for coyotes, that one of his friends even got cornered once by four coyotes. Well, I don't think they only have a coyote problem. Sounds like to me that they may have a wolf problem as well in that area. I have seen a few videos of huge wolves, so could have they just been seeing some big wolves? At least that's what I'm leaning towards on this one. The first sighting on this one was strange, but the witness was very young at the time. I do think that these wolves have something that seems to be different about them, like their size for one, but they did have a couple of sightings with them being bipedal, but the last couple has them on all fours. But what to make of it all? For the witness not to think that they were wolves, instead of being some kind of creature, which they are more and more sightings of these huge wolves, which dire wolves is said to have went the way of the dinosaurs, or did they? Maybe they came very close to it, but now could they be making a comeback? Just a thought or two. So I hope you like this one, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries.